Good morning, students. My name is Maria, and today we will be solving a two-step equation by understanding inverse operations in order to solve for x. So, without looking on the board, I have a bunch of here and tell me what an inverse operation is. Michelle? Well, inverse is the opposite of something, so I'm guessing the opposite operation of, some, of another operation? That is exactly correct. Inverse operations are opposite operations of a specific operation. For example, addition is the opposite of subtraction and the opposite of multiplication is... Mm. Division. Division. Okay. So now, on your sheet of papers, please write this example, but don't worry. We'll go through it together step by step. Okay. So, in order to solve for x, we need x to be alone. We want x to be alone on this side. Is x alone? No. No. No, it's not. So we have to look around it, like the neighbor. What is the neighbor doing and what is it next to? We have to focus on the x, like last, and then after we see what's around it. So can anyone tell me what's around the x? Okay. Uh, plus 9. Plus 9. That is good because we have to also take into consideration the operation that is next to it. So, do you want to do it? We have to do it in verse. Um, so, subtract 9? Yes, 9 is exactly correct because the inverse of addition is subtraction. But we have to do it to both sides because when we do to one side, we have to do it to the other side. This cancels out and now cancels out. Tell me what percentage of my answer is. Sure. 15. 15, that is exactly correct. Now the second step is we have to bring down whatever is on this side. What is on this side? 3x. That's exactly correct. We bring down the 3x. Now, is x alone? No. No. When a number and a variable are next to each other, what operation is going on there? Michelle? Multiplication. Exactly. And like we said before, the inverse of multiplication is? Division. So what we do is, um, we're going to divide 3 on both sides. Exactly, on both sides. Let's push this off. And can anyone tell me what 15 divided by 3 is, Emily? 5. 5. Now I have to bring down the x because now it's alone. And is x by itself now? Yes. Yes, it is. The great thing about math is that now we can check our work to see if x is really 5. So, can you just rewrite this? But now, we're going to replace x with 5. So, 3. Okay, now, can everyone tell me how 3 times 5 is? I mean, 15. Exactly. And we just bring down what's left. Now, can anyone tell me what 15 plus 9 is? Shall? 24. Exactly. And does 24 equal 24? Yes. Yes. So that is correct. Now, I know this nice thing is sometimes to get used to, so that's why I have a little cheer for us so we can remember. Okay. So I will say it first and then you follow my lead, okay? One, two, three. If you want to get X alone, you have to isolate it by doing the inverse operations, okay? So, you wanna follow me now? Yes. On the count of three, okay? One, two, three. If you wanna get X alone, you have to isolate it by doing the inverse operations. Okay, so now that we got the hang of it, we're gonna do it one more time, okay? One, two, three. If you wanna get X alone, you have to isolate it by doing the inverse operations. Okay, that's it, class. Thank you. How much was that? 30 seconds left. Oh. No, that's good. Oh, that's okay. That's good. That's the